Well, folks, it's been a couple weeks since I released my beginner build in partnership with GetFPV. Uh, link to that in the video description if you want to build a whole quadcopter from start to finish with me holding your hand along the way. And there's only one thing I haven't done yet. Some of you guys have been flying it for a couple weeks and you think it flies pretty good, but you're about to find out it can fly even better because uh, these are the pits. I've been, I developed a pit tune for it. It took me a couple weeks to really get something I was happy with, but here it is. And I'm leaving the motors turned up in this video so you can, because I think you can tell a lot more about a pit tune by listening to the motors almost than by watching it fly. I hope you are suitably impressed. If not, well, tell me in the comments. Just help me. Um, if you have finished this build and want to try these PIDs out, a couple things to keep in mind. There's no such thing as a universal PID tune. If you're flying up in Denver, Colorado at high altitude with low air density, then you're gonna, your PIDs will effectively be a little bit lower than mine. And if you're flying down near sea level, maybe your PIDs will be a little bit higher. The bottom line is always carefully test fly. Hover, do a, a gentle flight, do a more aggressive flight. Always watch for signs of flyaway for hot motors. I think these PIDs are safe for you to use just about anybody, but I would hate for somebody to smoke a motor because you were like in Dubai and it was 110 degrees and I don't know. So just be careful. One other thing to say before I show you what the PIDs are and how to apply them to your quad, uh, these are with the Lumineer, I think they're are they the butter cutters or the gate breakers? These are with the Lumineer props that come with it if you're flying different props that will change things slightly. But the Lumineer props are fairly aggressive, so almost any other prop that you try is going to be less, it's going to be a softer tune and a safer tune, so you probably don't have to worry about that too much. But if you're flying with different props, you may get slightly different results. Anyway, here is how to install these pids as soon as we finish up the flight. Okay, so here we are in the PID tuning tab in Betaflight, and what I want you to do is just move your sliders to these positions. So your sliders are going to be down at 1.0 for all of your settings, right? And you're just going to move those sliders to these settings. Master Multiplier 1.4, PD Balance 1.2, PD Gain 1.1, and Stick Response Gain 1.0. And basically the goal of these settings that was to the, the motors on these quad, because this is tailored towards beginners, they're a little bit weaker than some of the other quads that, that the default beta flight PIDs might be tuned for. So we've turned some of this stuff up to just sharpen it up a little bit. If you want to get even sharper stick feel, you can try turning up the stick response gain. This is more individual stick uh, you know pilot preference than objective you could move it up to maybe as high as 1.5 or you could even try moving it down if you want to soften up the sticks a little bit but i feel like due to the motors uh, of this quad it's already soft enough and most people probably wouldn't want to move it down some people might want to move it up i've left it just right where it is if you're interested in copying my rates here they are these are the rates that I fly with. And if you're flying on Betaflight's default rates, give these a try. I think you may like them better. Um, they're a little bit faster at full stick deflection, but they have a fairly safe and wide uh, sort of center stick. Um, yeah, anyway, some people will ask, what are your rates? Here they are. And the last thing, that's optional though. The last thing is here in the filter settings, go ahead and move both of these filter sliders from the default of 1.0 over to 1.5. And that's going to do it. Uh, I think you're going to find that this gets the quad flying just that little bit better, just a little bit less prop wash oscillation, smoother motors, and a little bit more control, a little bit sharper response and better control. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments, though. Did this make your quad fly better? Did it, did it make it fly worse? I mean, I hope not, but I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Happy flying, everybody.